Juan here from Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. We arrived here a few days on a flight from Chiapas, but we've just been resting so far. Today's going to be our first day going out properly and exploring. And this place is on the west coast of Mexico, so we've never been here before. And it's one of the most famous beach destinations here in Mexico, one of the most popular ones. So the apartment that we're in is really modern, really nice, and it was $30, I think, per night. So a really good price because, yeah, it is quite big, a lot bigger than the other ones that we've stayed in. The nicest apartment, right? Yeah, it has a pretty good kitchen with microwave, which is something that we need, and also toaster. Yeah, that's pretty much everything we need. Then over here, we just have like the, the bathroom area, so once the shower is not in the same room as the yeah the toilet so there you go so i'll just show you outside we actually have this uh big gated door it's like a jail cell and then out here we actually have another gated door and even a gated door down there so yeah it's all like high security i guess and we're staying in a pretty local area so there's no hotels or anything in this uh road but yeah, it's quite nice. Like you got the old cobbled roads, stones. Got a cat somewhere. Oh, hey, there we go. Hello. <laughs> we got Garfield. All right, there we go. He's gone inside. We got a cat, Carol. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so it's probably a bit of a sketchy area. That's why we got all this uh, protection, right? We don't normally have all these gates. I don't think I've ever been anywhere where you've got to go through three gates just to get out of the building. And uh, yeah, we did see some uh, dodgy, suspicious characters around here. I think mainly people on drugs or something shouting. Yeah, there's quite a few of that around here. It is a big city compared to where we've been in the other beach destinations in like Oaxaca and stuff. So yeah, big city, big city problems, I guess. Who are you? Come on, Garfield. Let's go to the beach. heading to the beach now uh, as always I think the beach is just like a five minute walk from our place so it's very close we actually went to a, a different part of the beach the other day when we was going to the shopping mall and um, yeah we came across something funny right yeah big crocodile or alligator I don't know yeah big crocodile just chilling in this like little I guess like stream or canal area so yeah I didn't know there was crocodiles around here but yeah we saw one Guys, check out this, the huge lizard family over here. Look at the size of these guys. There's loads of them. This is the main beach near our spot. Surprisingly empty, there's no one at this part. I don't think we're really in the main parts. I think we're actually between two of them. So back there where you can see the big old hotels is the proper hotel zone. And then the other popular part is all the way down there where you see those cool mountains. So I think that's called Zona Romantica, something like that. And we're just somewhere in the middle. They do have these big hotels here though. This one seems to be damaged or yeah, under construction or something. I'm not sure what's going on there. And we got a cool spot with some natural shade. So we decided to get some Cocos Frios and that was, was it 100 for both of them? Yeah, yeah so. a bit expensive, but 
We are on the beach, so. <laughs> yeah, in Puerto Vallarta. In general, the prices are more expensive in this region. 50 pesos each. Is it cold as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, and sweet. Oh, nice. Time to see how the water is on this west coast. So I think the sand in a lot of Puerto Vallarta is more like this. You don't get like the super white sand or anything. And also I don't think the water is clear anywhere around here. So it's more this, uh, I guess kind of murky actually. Looks green. Let's see how the temperature is. Ooh. <laughs> it's cold. So there's loads of uh, pebbles as well. Everywhere, the whole ground's full of pebbles. Colorful pebbles like this. They actually look pretty nice, all the different colors. But yeah, they're everywhere, look at that. My present for you. I think it's so romantic. And a uh, wedding anniversary present. <laughs> Check that out, the parachute guy. Oh yeah. Do that. Yeah, we've never done it. We need to do it. It looked cool on a GoPro as well. So here's a bit more like, I guess, the vibe of Riviera Maya. Yeah, because it's very touristic and you have lots of uh, activities to do, just like this one, like water sports. Yeah, stuff. banana boat, sailboat, yeah. jet ski. But I think uh, Riviera Maya is more beautiful, at least the color of the beach. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'd say out of Oaxaca and everywhere we've been, this is probably the least uh, attractive beach. Yeah. Not terrible, but just nothing special, I guess. No. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like a place to have fun with all this water activities. And comparable to Riviera Maya because of like the all-inclusive hotels and everything. So yeah, it's that kind of vibe here. going to make our way to the next spot we're gonna head to that part at the bottom the zona romantica it's supposed to be some nicer beaches there with the hills as the backdrop so yeah we're just gonna work out how to get there we're gonna try and get a bus to there and that shouldn't take long yeah. Yeah.
the weight long for the bus it came straight away and here to the center it costs 10 pesos and we're just gonna get a bite to eat first before we check out the beaches we're both very hungry so we come to this spot here mariscos el guero almost as old as me i was born in 88 older than carol and i think i'm gonna get a grilled fish tacos i'll probably get four of those they're 26 and you're gonna get two Quesadilla. What, the cheese one? Yeah. Alright, that's 33. And for drinks, I think I'll go with the hibiscus tea. Amica for 19. Build the uh, fish tacos. I always like this, the uh, pico de gallo. Um, get some of that in there. So those were some nice spicy fish tacos and here pretty much everyone seems to speak English especially in like the restaurants and stuff so that's also similar to the Riviera Maya in Chiapas and Oaxaca barely anybody spoke English even in the hotels and stuff so yeah it's a lot easier to get around here that's for sure and this is how the center looks here it's actually quite nice so even here you have like the cobbled roads loads of plants and stuff everywhere the architecture of the buildings look quite nice as well nicer than the area we're staying yeah a lot nicer too. yeah so here's a map of the place so Viejo Vallarta, Old Town. I think we're around here, so yeah, we're just gonna head down there to the ocean front. So this is a little square or park that's right near the beach. Check it out, there's these like cool mosaics on all these pillars. Yeah, even all the chairs around are all like artistic. Mexico in general is a very artistic place. There's art everywhere. And me and Carl were just saying, this actually reminds us of Rio. So you get the big green hills and mountains with like houses and buildings all over. You're back in Rio, Carol. Yeah, it kind of feels like the same place. Yeah, very similar. This one was made for Carol to love to check it out. Mer Mary Carol. Yeah, this is the Philippines flag. Oh yeah, check it out guys. Philippines being represented. the main beach on this side sand's actually a nicer color here and got this nice boardwalk here which i think they call the malecon and there's an unusual looking structure over there sculpture or something so we're gonna check that out oh it's really everything looks really nice around here though yeah, right so many restaurants and yeah hotels. beautiful buildings and restaurants everywhere classy place Yeah, so this place is absolutely packed. Check this out. So I guess this is like the main area. We're definitely not going to be staying on this beach. But yeah, pretty much both sides. Kids everywhere. You think we'll find a relaxed spot? I don't know, maybe we'll have to go to another beach. Another yeah. Beach.
So we ended up getting a Uber to a different beach. This one is called Playa Concha China. Oh yeah, it wasn't a Uber. It's a taxi. What's it called? Playa Concha China. Yeah. Smaller little beach, not as busy. Still got the super fancy hotels everywhere though. Beautiful around here though, right? Yeah. This part. It. Yeah, with the nature and the nice buildings. Yeah, everything looks beautiful. So we're just seeing a good spot to lie down. Yeah, so this one's a bit different because it's got these like cool rocks, even in the middle of the sand. Yeah, so on this beach, the water is much, much nicer. Really, really clear on this side. And we're just trying to work out where to go. We're trying to find a place to rent an umbrella. Way too hot to be without an umbrella, right? Yeah, I think we need to rent one. Yeah, we just need to find the, the guys. I don't see anyone. Where are they at? So we found our umbrella here and uh, it cost, I think, around $10, uh, 180 so Expensive. pretty. <laughs> yeah, pretty pricey because even in the Riviera Maya, we could pay like $10 each and go to an entire beach club. But that's uh, that's the only option around here. And not having an umbrella wasn't an option because there's no natural shade. And the sand right now, you know that kind of sand that when you uh, stand on it, it completely burns your foot. That's how it is. So yeah, you need to have uh, shade. <laughs> It's crazy just how many buildings and hotels they put yeah. on the hillside. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> yeah, too many. Like there's literally no hillside left. All buildings. So it's about 3.40 now and we actually just found out that there's a curfew right now because of COVID. So all the beaches have to close at 5 so we'll have to give the, the umbrella back in like an hour and 20 minutes. Not sure how they come up with that time exactly because yeah, some of the beaches were kind of packed. Maybe it's because at sunset time, that's usually when a lot of the beaches get really full. A lot of the people go to the beaches, so I imagine it's something to do with that. And I think you can see those like mountains and hills all the way back there in the distance. So tomorrow we're actually going to be getting on a boat to like a isolated community over there that you can only get to by boat and we're gonna spend a week there. So that's where the next video is gonna be. And yeah, we're really excited. I don't think we've ever been to a place like isolated like that, right? No. Have we? Only on islands. Yeah, only on islands, not on the mainland. So yeah, that should be a cool new experience for us.
from those drone shots you could probably see some of the crazy accommodations that they have here. There was even one hotel back there that had this insane infinity pool and it was really high so they can pretty much see everything just just nuts. No idea how much that must cost but yeah Puerto Vallarta is looking more like a baller's kind of paradise, a baller's kind of place. A lot of people spending a lot of money here that's for sure. Didn't you see in Sayulita that there was a place for $16,000? for like two or three nights. Yeah, it was like a big villa for, I don't know, 10 people, but it's still a crazy price. Yeah, $16,000. Okay, it was for 10 people though. I thought it was just for like two people. <laughs> Nuts. So we've come back to our apartment early because of the five o'clock curfew, right? It actually gets dark a lot later here. I think only around eight, it gets like really dark. Over on the other side, on the on the east coast, it would usually be about like 6.30 or something, or 7. So yeah, we just uh, adjust into that, it's kind of weird. It feels like it's at night, but but still light. So as I mentioned before, in the next video, we're gonna go to that like isolated uh, little village. It's called Yalapa, so that'll be in the next video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. As always, drop a like on the videos to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.